I'm Joe DiGiulio, back with another free art lesson. What we're going to talk about today is quick framing, the proper way to do things that will be not only smart, but also economic for you. I've just completed a quick little simple painting here. It's on a Soho 9 by 12 painting board. Now, the reason why I selected this board is because when I went to the store, I realized that gallery wood frames and viewpoint pre-packs of pre-cut uh, mats were on sale. So the smart artist, if they go to the frame department and say, let's see what's on sale, what works with what the kind of painting I do, find that out, then go buy the canvas that you know will fit the frame. So many times I see artists and they buy great canvases, really interesting sizes. They paint it all up and then they go get the frame and they go, they don't make frames ready-made that way. Now they're stuck with a three to $400 custom framing bill. So the smart way is think backwards. Go to the store, get a frame, get a mat that is already going to be the right, pri right price and the right size for your work. So I'm going to just take this panel. Simply, the gallery frames come with the little protective uh, sleeves on them. They're quick clipped in the back. The great thing, they also come with the hanging hardware. I'll set that all off to the side. Now, I don't throw these away because I use these corners when I'm transporting my work to and from the gallery so I don't scratch, tear up the corners. I'll take the piece. There's a 10-pack pre-cut. I do plenty of these paintings at a time. I'll take one. I center it up how I want. That looks like that would be great. Flip it over. Double check my edges that nothing's overlapping. That all looks great. I'm going to use one inch artist tape. It's archival. It won't yellow. It's pH neutral. It, it's just a great tape to hold things on. It stays permanently in place. I won't have to worry about it anymore. If I use some like masking tape, it'll yellow over time. It'll curl up over time. You won't have that issue with this white artist tape. A little bit more expensive, but it's worth every penny you pay for it. I'm adhering my Soho painting board directly to that pre-cut mat. You'll see in a second, it works perfectly time after time after time. Now see, when I go to a show, I'll put a couple of these right into, on the mat and right into the frame. The rest of the time, I might just put the rest of them framed up in a mat like this and then put perhaps a little in a crystal bag so I don't have to go through the expense of the frame. Now, with that done, I set it aside, slide open the clips lifts right out, remove the paper. Now I have already taken off, there is a f slight uh, clear film that is on the styrene to protect it while it's in the store and shipping so it doesn't scratch it. I've already took the liberty of removing that. Drop this right in there. It fits perfectly in. Place the sheet off to the side. Drop the backing board in. It's got little ridges right along here on the edge line for that. There's another ridge right here on this higher line that would be used if you were going to put a canvas in there. So this frame can be used for a three-quarter inch canvas or if you're doing paperwork like I'm doing right now. Simply turn it over and you've got a finished piece ready to go into the gallery. It's really simple. All you got to do is have the right tools for the right job. Grab yourself a gallery wood frame, get a mat that matches at the viewpoint line of pre-cut mats, use your Soho painting boards, put it all together, have a nice finished piece of work. I hope you enjoyed what I showed you today. I'm Joe DiGiulio, and thanks for checking out this free art lesson. <laughs>